Lucy Kelly, the food editor of Weight Watchers. You're back again yes. for another lovely, interesting, inspiring dish. Yes. What are you cooking today? I'm going to make us Chinese takeaway at home. Mm. So you can still go and get Chinese takeaway or go take the family to a Chinese restaurant. Mm. But this is when you want healthy Chinese at home. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make one of everyone's favourites, which is sweet and sour chicken. Fantastic. And it, it's really important when you do a stir fry is to get all your ingredients ready. Mm. So you get all your veggies, do all your chopping, get all your sauces mixed up yep. together, and then you just quickly cook it at the end. So Josie, if you want to yep. um, cut those, those onions, the yep. red onions, into little thin wedges, yep. and the chilli, I like to remove the seeds, especially yep. if you're feeding the kids yeah, because spicy. Uh, if they get a little bit hot. Okay, fantastic. But they're mild, those red yeah. chillies. And we're going to do some ginger. Now you can either do some little thin slices of ginger, but I like to grate my ginger because it is quite hot ginger. And I've got my favourite little gadget here, which is a ginger grater, specifically oh, for ginger and nothing else. Yeah, love and that. And you just get your peeled ginger and you just... And where can we find one of those? those? Some kitchen stores have it. Great, isn't it? Comes out. So really, yeah. you just give it a little tap and there you have perfect grated ginger. Lovely. Okay. That's so great. what I'm going to do is do a, a, a little sauce mixture for the... Sweet and sour. So I've got the corn flour in first. It's important to put the corn flour in first because it'll go a bit lumpy if you don't. So you mix it with some white wine vinegar. And just give that a little bit of a mix around. And then we've got a couple of tablespoons of caster sugar. You know, it's the sweet, Sweetness. it's the sour from yep, the vinegar. Yeah, balancing all that. Yep. And you, so you've got the hot, the sweet, the sour. This is tomato sauce. And we're going to do two tablespoons of salt reduced soy sauce. This is something that you can have, sometimes you go, oh, I'm going to have Chinese on a Friday night or yeah. sort of treat yourself. But, I mean, you can make it at home and it's almost like you're making a store because all these flavours, I can see pineapple here and you've got ketchup. It's very classic, mm. you know, down the road. Aussie, Aussie Chinese. Chinese. Aussie Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. Like, not classical, but, like, we as Australians yeah. love this combination of that really sweet and salty and sour, yeah. which yeah. is what you're going to do, yeah. So I've got a can of pineapple. Yeah. Uh, it's actually half the can, okay. and it's the unsweetened pineapple with the juice as well. You set that aside; it's all ready. Okay. And we're going to crush up some some garlic. Do you want a knife or knife for that? Yeah. I'll give you that one if that's going to be all right. Might be and a bit. I like <laughs> to put a little bit of salt, salt. on my. I can get some salt for you. We're going to crush it the Chinese way. Yep. Here you can have my knife. Which you put a little bit of salt onto your garlic, and then you use the side of your knife. So you hold the knife like this, and you just. Give it a bit of a, a crush. Good, that's a good have, technique to show. Yeah, and if you haven't got a garlic crusher, it's a great way to improvise. In regards to this dish, there's still lots of vegetables involved. And that's, I think, when you come on the show, you always really emphasise that. Load up more on the veggies and less on the things that are the naughty, you know, that you're not supposed to eat all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's also, you know, Weight Watch is, a, is very much about lots of flavour yeah. with spices and herbs and yeah. so that you don't compromise on flavour at all with our recipes. It's not just carrots. No, because a lot of the, the flavourings <laughs> that you add to food, like garlic and chilli and spices, they don't have any calories in them. Yeah. Very few. Mm. Well, I'm putting two teaspoons of canola oil. Mm -hmm. That's a healthy oil. You okay. can use peanut oil as well, but canola is better. You can also use olive, but I always think it's a bit of a waste to put yeah. olive in a stir fry. Well, and also you, you want that high heat, yeah. and that's got a high smoking mm. point. So as soon as that's hot. So in goes your chicken, mm -hmm. and you throw your ginger and your garlic oh, and your chilli all in together. <laughs> Just scrape it all up. <laughs> Perfect. Scrape it all up. <laughs> And that way all the flavours combine mm. together. Easy dinner. I love this Easy dinner in the middle of the week, yeah. That smells amazing, that ginger, the garlic. Yeah, and the chilli. It's yeah. great, isn't it? So I'll you just take bowl? that out now. And you're using chicken breast. Yes, yeah. it can be sometimes a little bit dry, but I guess there's no fat at all on it. So if you don't overcook it, it's not dry. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little bit of colour. I mean, sweet and sour chicken doesn't need to be really brown. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we're going to put in is a little bit more oil. Just two teaspoons. So then we're going to just put in our onions. It's good to separate out the little wedgies. Yeah. And with stir frying, the onions are just quickly cooked. They're a little bit soft, but they're not really wilted down. What else can I put uh, in? We're here? going to put in the capsicum now. Capsicum. So we got one, is that one? One red capsicum. One red yep. capsicum and one green, green one. 
And did you want me to slice these for you? Yes, that's going to be nice at the end. Just really fine slices. Really fine. So we just add the chicken back in. And then we're going to add all our sauce mixtures. And we're going to add sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas, I can give that to you. And they've got yeah. that lovely crunch to them, don't they? Beautiful. It gets tossed around just for a few minutes until the vegetables are cooked through. The sugar snap peas are just nice and crunchy and bright green. Do you want me to get a bowl? That's almost ready. I would, and okay. we need to get some rice. We've got some cooked rice. Okay. So how much rice are we allowed? Well, it's up to you, but usually um, half a cup to a cup of cooked per rice. Per person? Per person. Okay. There's no hard and fast rules. Mm. But that just looks so beautiful. Lovely. And glossy and gorgeous with lots and lots of veggies. Lots of colours going on there too. So what are we putting mm. some uh, this on? Yep, a little bit of green shallot. That is looking fresh, right. lovely. It's adventurous, it's creative. Yum. Full of flavour. Mm. Pork, great for the family. Time to eat. <laughs>